Hello painters, in this episode of Painting the Monster Manual A to Z, we're doing something a little different and we're not even going to be painting, but this is for the uh, animated objects section of the Monster Manual. And the first one is this animated armor. Uh, this is a Reaper Bones model. Uh, I forget the name, I'll put a link to it in the description. But uh, very simple paint job, basically. I painted it, I primed it in black, just black. Then dry brushed it with a dark silver and then a brighter silver. Then I took some sanguine base, which is just a dark maroon red, and I painted in uh, the eye parts in the helmet and the uh, eyes, nose, and mouth area in here and a little bit on the little uh, detail on the shield there uh, and then I did the sword handle red but then you just layer up doing smaller and smaller areas with an orange and a yellow to get that glow effect and then a little blood letter glaze which helps take the yellow back out and makes it look more red and then after I did all that, I went back with my bright silver and recoated the teeth. And then, yeah, just some gold on some of the other details. Very simple paint job. <laughs> so that's the first one. Uh, after that is the flying sword. So here I took a uh, sword from the Reaper Bones Kickstarter. Uh, I got all these weapons. And on eBay, I bought these clear, these are 8th inch acrylic rods, clear. They're about 2 feet long, and you can just cut them with a, uh, like a box cutter or utility knife. And then I just uh, glued the sword onto that, drilled a hole, put the uh, rod through the little base. And so there you have a flying sword. You, and you can also use, you know, axes or maces or whatever weapons you want. And probably my favorite one is the rug of smothering. And this one is super easy. But what I did is I, I did a search for miniature rugs. Um, just Google it. And I found there are a couple different designs. And I just printed these up on cardstock. And you could use whichever ones you want. Uh, you will want to print three copies on cardstock. So what you do is you cut them out, so cut out all three, leave one flat that you'll use uh, as your uh, characters walk into the room, but you won't want one, it'll just be on the floor. And then with the other two, cut them out and glue them together back to back. And then I just took a uh, hot glue stick to roll them one direction that way and one direction the other way. And then just super glued it onto a base. So, I mean, these are different rugs, but you get the idea. So, you know, they come up close to it, it animates, and attacks. And then while you're at it, you can make a flying carpet, since you already have your acrylic rod. And uh, you've already printed out all the sheets of the carpets. So, just simply uh, glued two back to back. Hot glued it onto the stand, and I did, uh, before you glue it onto the stand, just do a little curl each way, so it's not just a flat rug. I, I tried that at first, it didn't look very good. But, anyway, cool little crafts. But, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>